So our theme this week is we are blessed to be a blessing. So let's think about what that means while I kind of go through the story of Abram. Um, not the whole story, just Genesis anyway. God told Abram uh, to leave everything he had behind and go to a land that he had yet to tell him about. He was just kind of like, you'll know when you get there. So that's cool. Leave everything you know and just go and I will bless you. And God tells him, I'll make you a great nation and I'll bless you. I'll make you famous and you'll be a blessing. I'll bless those who bless you. Those who curse you, I will curse. All the families of the earth will be blessed through you. So Abram goes, Lot goes, his nephew, and his wife Sarai goes. And at one point in their journey, um, God appears to Abram again and says, I will give this land to your children. So right there where God appeared, Abram builds a altar. And um, so he goes um, a little bit further and he pitches his tent and then he builds a second altar and he starts praying. Um, and that's kind of where our story ends. A little bit of a cliffhanger, but <laughs> that big long section of text where God is talking about how um, how he's a blessing and how he's going to be a blessing and all of his family will be blessed and he's so blessed makes sense that our, our theme this week is talking about blessings, but I actually kind of struggled the first time I read through it to find the blessings. I was like, well, you made him leave everything he, he owned and just go. Like, that's not very blessed, I don't think. And... <laughs> I'm just, I was struggling to find where the blessings were. I saw the promise of blessing, but I couldn't really find the blessing. So then I started thinking about, well, what, what does it actually mean to be a blessing? And to me, that means it's um, you showing Jesus through your actions or through your words or through whatever. Just showing Jesus in some way using the gifts that you were given by God. So whether that's, for me, like singing on Sundays or... Um, anything, any other gift that you could have, if it's painting and you want to, you know, hang up a painting in the church to show others, you know, Jesus's love through, through your gift that I consider that a blessing and blessing others. But, um, so I was trying to find this in the text of where a, a blessing was. And I think that the way that Abram was showing how to be like Jesus in this way was to have blind faith. He left everything and just went like God told him to and just trusted that the blessings were going to come. And um, I think that people looking at that story and seeing what he did, he's showing Jesus. So I think that he is already being a blessing uh, to others just through the story. Um, uh, another way that I, I will feel blessed by others, not just be a blessing, but um, to feel blessed, I think, is when someone thinks about me, when I, when I take up time in someone's day, just when they're thinking about me, when they're, you know, they send me a little, like, how are you text, or there's something like, um, like they'll invite me out somewhere, or invite me to come for a sleepover or something. Um, I feel really blessed and loved, and I think that shows Jesus' love, is like, even when the world is the way that it is, <laughs> people still will reach out to you because you know they're going through their own stuff, but they still will say, you know, how are you doing, uh, really, because I care about you. And for me, that's, that's Jesus. Um, so think about the discussion questions and um, answer them in the group chat.